now i will show you how to make a stopwatch using a timer control so now you can see the visual basic interface for making the timer control for stopwatch we have to use a label a command button for starting and a timer control timer control is not visible when you start the program you can see label and command button is visible timer is never visible it runs at the back so now you can stop the program and let's do the coding the programming part so now let's give proper caption so select the command button and in the command button caption give start the label you can give total seconds is equal to zero you can increase the length so when you press the start button this seconds will start counting and every second the zero will become one two three every one second it will increase so now the timer control for running the code every second you have to write the code in timer so you can see timer interval is 0 make it 1000 and by default it is enabled is equal to true it means start immediately make it false in the start button make write the code timer 1 dot enable is equal to true and you can disable the command button after running the program so you can write command 1 dot enable is equal to false so this line of code is only for disabling the command button after pressing it once so that we don't have to take the tension that it is pressed or not if it is disabled it means it have been pressed so now come to the interface so now you have to write the code here so double click on it so to now write the code you have to declare a variable dim v seconds as integer now let's declare a variable called v seconds you can give s capital so v means variable it is always better to write v in front of the variable names like this will be called as prefix after this line you can write the code label one dot caption is equal to you can write the same caption total seconds is equal to space and give double quote and now you can say write and and v seconds so if you write this much of code what it will do it will run it will declare a variable and by default its value is 0 and this will show you total seconds is equal to 0 but it will not increase the value of this for increasing the value of this copy it paste is equal to paste plus 1 so now this becomes a perfect code so it will declare a variable this will display the value 0 in the starting after that 0 plus 1 will become 1 when it will come again here it will display 1 and here 1 1 plus 1 will become 2 and it will keep on running but there is one problem if you declare a variable in any procedure like this in that case whatever the value is stored in this through this it keeps on adding 1 and 1 when it comes to end sub this will become 0 the variable becomes 0 so what we have to do we cannot declare this variable here what we can do you can cut it and press control home to come at the top press enter again come at the top now you can see general declaration you can paste it here and press enter so come at the top now you can see general declaration if you come one arrow down you can see command one click so general declaration means a variable is declared and can be used by any procedure like one procedure second procedure and 
it will not change the value it will keep on changing the value through this but it will not make the value zero until the whole software is stopped so this way the values keeps on storing here so now what it does every second this command this procedure will run it will display total second is equal to second value that is zero in the starting then zero plus one will be one and this one will be stored here so it will not after this end sub the value will not become zero so after one again this will be run after one second so here you can see it will display total second is equal to one and this will make it two and the it will keep on running like this now let's try start the program you can see nothing is happening right now so as I will press start so you can see the changes one second two second three second four five six it will keep on changing the value this way so right now you can see it is running slowly as it is running every second so what you can do you can stop come to the timer control and instead of 1000 make it 100 for the time being till the logic is ready when everything will be finalized we can make it 1000 so that timer runs every one second and stopwatch works according to it so if you make it 100 it means 100 millisecond that is 10 times in one second 1000 means one second if you, if you make it 100 it means 10 times in a second now let's play and see start so you can see the value is changing very fast so you can see 60 now you can see it is crossing plus 60 so total second it is better to display it in minutes so I will show you but in the starting you can note one thing stop and play that it is coming as I press start you can see one digit is coming after that it becomes two digit so how to do it that it should display two digit in the starting only stop make the timer 1000 to fill properly start start so you can see one two three you can see it is a single digit it should come zero six zero seven zero eight zero nine now you can see after ten it is two digit so how to make it two digit from the starting so for that stop the program now you can see this value in this line what this line does the caption will be whatever is typed between this double two quote it will display this much and it will add the value of this so this value should be in two digits so what you can write format bracket open and comma double quote and you can write double zero in bracket close so what does this mean format means the format of this should be double zero it means whatever is there if it is single zero always display in two zeros and if it is two digits keep it two digits and if it three digits it will be three digits it will be minimum two digits let's play start so you can see double zero zero one zero two zero three you can see it's coming this way zero seven zero eight zero nine now ten by default have two digits so it will be normal now the problem what comes that after 60 seconds it increases to 61 seconds 62 let's make it in minutes also like if it is more than 60 seconds I will show you how stop first increase the timer speed make it 100 10 times in a second this means 10 times in a second start start now you can see after 50 now you can see after 60 70 it is coming in it is keep on increasing so now let's program in such a way that after 60 it will display one minute like this so for that you have to stop and at the top like as you have declared one variable for seconds let's declare one more variable dim v let's make it minutes 
now one question comes that we should make it minute or minutes you can make any but it's better that for easiness always make it plural because everywhere we are using the same thing seconds minutes so it becomes easier if you use a same standard so always make a uh, english word to plural form that is more than one instead of making a singular form now as integer so you can see seconds will be stored in v seconds and minutes will be stored in v minute now you don't have to do any changes in command button and here you have to change like total seconds instead of total seconds you can write total minutes format now you can see this is for seconds so add just copy it and paste it here only and use and and you can use one more and and in between you can use double quote and in double quote you can give colon so that there is a colon between two numbers now instead of v seconds you can make it v minute minutes so this much of code does nothing it declares a variable and it adds a format of v minute as double zero colon and again this for seconds now let's break the sentence underscore enter or this format what you can do here this one underscore format and underscore format so you can see this four line is single line actually so you can read you can read the contents one again format v minute it means it will display two digits is always zero zero and colon will be added and again two zeros two numbers and this will keep on adding one and it will keep on running now let's play this much so minute will never change as a programming expect we have not changed much only the format we have changed let's see start so you can see double zero colon now you can see value is increasing and it will cross 60 now you can see after 60 nothing is changing otherwise what should it have what should it do after 60 it should add one here and here it should become zero and again it should restart from 0 to 60 now let's do this programming also for that stop the program so now you can come here and here you can do the coding if v second is equal to 60 then and if so use of this line is that when v second means when second cross when becomes 60 the time should be increased 2 minutes so we can write v minutes is equal to v minutes plus 1 so what this line will do this line will keep on adding one one second to v second variable and when it crosses 60 it will make the minute is equal to one so when it comes out of it so now again this will this part will display you can see v minute it will display one but we have not given that after 60 what it should do after 60 it will keep on running to 61 62 let's see play start now you can see this numbers so you can see 30s 40s 50s now you can see 60s after 60 it have made it one but it have not started from zero so for that what we have to do you can see it will keep on increasing because we have given no programming that it should stop so for that what we have to do here only we can write v seconds is equal to zero so now this becomes a perfect logic so what does this mean this will keep on adding one seconds after one second to seconds one and when it crosses 60 so make the minute is equal to one 
and second is equal to zero keep zero then again this will keep on running and again if it becomes 60 so this will increase it means if it is one minute it will become two minutes so this programming is perfect now let's play and let's start and see so you can see 20s 30s 40s 50s now after 60 it have made one minute and the seconds have become zero now you can see it is perfect two minute 40s 50s again 60s when it comes to 60 minute is increased so this way the program runs very well so now you can stop the program and to check this program more properly I will show you watch window which you can go to view and there is something called watch window the variable change value will be shown so or you can do one thing in V seconds right click and say add watch and just say ok you can see at the bottom a watch window is is added expressions you can see this is watch window icon expressions v seconds values out of context means not started type not declared and context from where it is calling it is calling from form 1 now make v minute also add to watch and ok now you can see two variables are added now if you play and start and if you come to view and watch window to end this to this form you can see it's increasing but here it is not showing why it is not showing because it is running the program is running so you have to run the program on line basis by breaking the program if you press control break then also you can see nothing is coming so let's stop the program and now instead of starting with F5 let's press F8 so when you press F8 the form is loaded now you press start so you can see it requires this variable to read command click timer it will, it will enable command button it will disable and after that it have it will be coming to timer so now you can see as you have come here the value of seconds and minute is zero zero now press F8 again now you can see this line is red till here nothing will happen now you can see v second is equal to v second plus one so currently v second is equal to zero as you press f8 this line will make it one and one will be displayed here let's try so now you can see one is coming here can you can come a little bit down now you can see till right now v second is equal to one so if v second is equal to 60 it means this line will directly end here it will not read these two lines let's see press f8 you can see directly it have come to end if these two lines are ignored it will keep ignoring till this line make it 60 so I will keep on pressing f8 and you can see the value here 1 f8 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 now you can see after pressing f8 now in this case this v second will become 2 now you can see 2 so 2 is not equal to 60 so it will come to end if so now again now this line will make 3 you can see 3 here now I will keep on pressing F8 with speedy you can see the value here you can see values are is increasing so continuously I am pressing F8 so you can see values is increasing and you can see V minute is always 0 so now you can see right now it is 58 as I press F9 it becomes 59 and 59 is not equal to 60 so it will ignore again come here so now you can see as I press uh, you can come to the form you can see right now it is 58 because this line displays so you can see as I press F8 this line is red now you can see it has become 59 so now F is to press F8 so you can see this have made it 60 V second have made it 60 but in the display it is 59 because 
after displaying you can see this code displays after displaying 59 it have made it 60 so if it is 60 now you can see 60 is equal to 60 so as you press F8 now it will go inside it and this line will you can come here you can see this is 0 0 now after reading this line V minute will become 1 you can see 0 is here press F8 now you can see it have become 1 and now V second it will make it 0 you can see it is 60 here F8 now it have made it 0 so this is perfectly working F8 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 now you can see as this line is read you can come here 0 59 is there this will make it 1 0 let's see F8 now you can see this line is read you can see 1 0 and here also 1 0 so this watch window helps us in checking this way so now press F8 continuously now you can see see the watch window 1 17 18 19 20 27 30s 40s now in 50s or 60s now you can see this will make it 60 now it will come again now this line will make you can see this line will make this one as 2 and this is 0 F8 so this line have made it 2 now this line will make make this 60 as 0 so 0 so this way if you keep on pressing F8 the values will keep on changing so now you can close come to the interface you can see total minutes 2 minutes 8 seconds so this is the end of our tutorial of making a stopwatch and checking through watch window if you want you can make it of hours also the same way you can try it's easy only so you can close this program also so this is the end of our tutorial of making a stopwatch thank you